high developers so in this part of angular e-commerce project we will learn that how we can add logout functionality for seller and we will also add some new pages for seller area like uh, add product and product listing so let me show you on the ui like what we are going to develop there so currently you can see that uh, any user is logged in there but we cannot see the username so we will just add the uh, user logged in username there like say uh, peter is logged in as a user then peter should be displayed there second thing is we did not implement there the logout feature so if just user will click on there the user should be logged out and after that we will make uh, pages and routing for add product and listing so currently they are also not working so if user just click on the list on the add product the respective page should be open there and uh, we will also have to add authentication to these pages so let's say if a user is not logged in there then they these pages should not be reachable right and at the last we will check the complete flow with the different different users so that we can check everything is working fine or not so now let's start with the first feature which is logout so uh, what i'm just going to do i am just closing all these things so that uh, i can show you step by step so first of all uh, in a header dot com where dot ts i am just going to make a function and function name is let's say logout right and there i just need to do two two things first i have to just uh, remove the uh, a seller from local storage let me show you there so let me just uh, open the inspect element and uh, then we can open the application so here you can see that a uh, user anil is logged in we can see that in a uh, 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 local storage right so if i am just uh, calling this function it should be removed there so for that what we need to do here just simply put here local storage dot remove item and the item name is seller after that we have to navigate this uh, user to the uh, uh, you can say that uh, home page so what we'll do there this dot route service we already added there in this uh, page even we use it uh, in the last video so i can just put here this dot route dot uh, navigate and uh, here you can put any url so we want to redirect it to the home page right so after that we have to call this function from uh, our logout click right so i don't need any href there i just need here a click Event. so let me add there click and on click what i can do there i can call this logout function so now let's see is it working or not so now i'm just clicking on there that uh, local storage should be empty and user should be directed on the home page and now you can see that this is working fine uh now the next thing is that we have to do uh we have to uh, show that uh logged in seller name so let's uh, see that what you have to do uh, let me just uh, log in another user so anil abc123 is a password and currently you can see there uh, uh, there is a static text like seller name so it should be dynamic uh, it should be displays what, uh, whoever user is or seller is logged in so what i will do there so i will just go to the header area and there i i don't need this uh, console dot log so i'm just removing it here i will check that if local storage dot uh, get item uh, and this is actually already checked so i don't need to check it again here you can see that right so what i will i, I will do there i'm just taking a let seller store i'm just taking a variable right and what i will just do there i will assign the data from local storage dot get item and item name item name is seller that's all right and uh, the next thing is we can convert because as you know whenever we are getting data from local storage this is a, a string format right so we can convert this data to the uh, object or in json format so i am just taking here seller data is another variable let and uh, just simply use here json dot parse and i can use here seller store and uh, the next thing is uh, 
what we can do there so let me just take a one more property and property name could be let's say sailor name and it could be string right and by default is a uh, blank and sorry i just put it inside the init area and in it i sh i have to use it outside that uh, even before constructor and one more thing i made a mistake in previous video i just put their capital string so it should be uh, you can say that uh, lower one all right and uh, the last thing that we need to do here is uh, we can assign this uh, user name to that property which is this dot seller name is uh, seller data dot name right but uh, you can see that we are just able to see that uh, there uh, there is an error so what we can do there we can again check local storage dot get item and i think uh, now that time it should not be there mm, uh, still not working all right so yep let me just find out the another way we can simply check that seller store if this is not empty or null then we can do that right now this is working fine so uh, now let's apply this uh, seller name property to the html part and uh, replace this uh, you can say that uh, static data from there seller name and now let's check ah uh, yeah there is a one more thing that we need to do as you know that we stored uh, data in local storage in a form of array so we have to use there a zero right now let's come back there and uh, we can see that anil is logged in here and let's say now you want to just make the first letter capital so even you can use their css also but uh, let me show you a pipe which is uh, really important for interview questions also we can simply use their title case and this will make this pipe will make our f uh, first letter of our uh, salary is capital like that all right so these thing are done that's great now uh, we have to just create a page currently whenever we are just clicking on a add product it will just go to the uh, seller home seller right so i just need to make a another component for add product so what i'm going to do i'm just opening a terminal there and uh, i am adding here one more component with a seller add product name so now it will create a complete new component and after that we will add the route for uh, uh, that component right this is created i don't need this terminal anymore so i'm just closing it now the next thing is uh, let's create a route for uh, uh, that uh, seller ad product right so what we can do that now i just uh, simply go to the um, app dot routing dot module and uh, let me create one more route there so component name is seller add product component right and after that uh, we have to give a path there so let me add their path also so let's say path is also seller add product right so now let's simply use this path in our header area and uh, let's uh, replace it with the add product now let's see is it working fine or not so if i'm just clicking on the add product you can see that we can uh, just getting the data from add component this is working fine so if i just go on, going on home coming back to the seller and clicking on the add product we can see that page that is fantastic perfectly working fine uh, but there is a issue so let's say we just uh, made a logout to the user and now again someone just try to visit that page like seller add product and he can visit but it should not be there because seller pages can be visible once seller is logged in and here you can see that seller is not logged in we can just see the logout and sign up form then how we can prevent it so previously we added there a auth card same we have to just apply on there right so if you just by chance missed our uh, that uh, authentication video link is given in the description box for complete playlist you have to watch that and uh, now uh, you will find that we cannot visit uh you can say that uh, uh seller add product because uh, authentication will stop it 
as our logic so what i'm just going to do seller add product and this is not working so if i'm just uh, again logging some other product other member let's say let's try with the peter now a b c three eight one two three and just clicking on the login and now you can see that peter is logged in and now we can visit that seller even after refresh perfect no issue okay so the next thing is uh what we have to do for that list page should we created a uh, new page or new component or what see listing will be visible once a uh, user will uh, log in and he will just come on the landing on the uh, home page so we just need to connect our seller home page with this link so what i can do there uh, just here you can see that the path is already created there right so just copy this and paste in our uh, route link and now it will work fine we can just uh, cons close the console we can just log out and let's try to log in again with the let's say uh, let me just log in i don't want to register a new user so anil and abc123 clicking on the login and user is login there so if i'm just clicking on the add product uh, perfectly fine so if i'm just clicking on the list this is still working perfectly fine right or if i just click on the log out user can be log out so that's all for this part i hope you enjoyed that part and uh, uh i am requesting you to subscribe my channel and like this video and uh, you can share your feedback in comment box also thank you guys thank you for supporting me and uh, i really appreciate your time that you given to me thank you guys